I had a comment that it was asking me a question about this anchor power core plus 26,800 and someone had asked that they were it seems as though since I made these videos <laughs> about this battery pack and yes I still use it it's here it is I think this one's probably approaching three years old now this is the older one someone had asked how I took it apart how I got it apart and then at one point I had referenced back to a, another video that I'd done as part one of four in this series of videos on this battery pack and then someone asked me another question saying that they took they followed all the steps and or and I said they weren't necessarily steps it was just more me opening the thing up they still were not able to get the battery pack out and so I grabbed <laughs> this one which I've taken apart several times and I kind of watched I had to go back and watch what I had <laughs> what I recorded because it's been a while I think there was an issue I had at one point with the video where I had to cut out part of it's just how the editing goes you had to cut out part of it because it, I was taking way too long to try to figure out how the thing was assembled and then once I got it I was like okay fine no one wants no one's gonna want to see this and of course if you're trying to take this thing apart to repair it whatever else you're gonna do with it then that's kind of essential information so this is gonna be a really short video taking this apart and just explaining how I did it. The first place I start is on the front, which is the spot where it's the obviously the USB ports and the USB power delivery port. You all, this may also work for the ones that just have the three USB ports and maybe a micro USB. When you're opening it, you can use a screwdriver because there is plastic behind these little fascia pieces, the one on the back and the one on the front. I'm gonna use a screwdriver because it's faster, but I would recommend that you, if you're doing it for the first time, that you invest in some plastic pry tools. This one's kind of broken. Maybe that's in here. Oh, there's one. Cool, that'll do. So some sort of plastic pry tool, that way you're not breaking uh, or scratching up anything that's metal or plastic. These are generally like a nylon something. Uh, I'll just use the plastic tool here and pry this back. And at some point you'll hear it kind of click. This one might need to be the other side. You'll hear it kind of loosen itself. No, it's not gonna wanna. It's not gonna wanna do this for me. It'd be funny if I just edited this out again. But you can also do this, let me see if I can do it with just the pry tool. You need something thin, pretty thin. And if I just get in here and get that. You can see the blade here is not super thin. It, it really widens out quickly, like a wedge shape where the, obviously the screwdriver is a much shallower taper. Let me try this one. This one's broken, but I might be able to get it just enough. Pop, no, it's not gonna work. So a really thin plastic pry tool, or you can use the, a screwdriver like this. Gently press it in there and then keep pushing forward until you kind of hit the top of the aluminum housing and then that fascia piece will pop right off. Behind it are the four screws. Now on the back, it's a little bit more challenging and you can see when I was <laughs> just doing this again that I was doing this quite quickly and I scratched it a bit, which I'm, fi I'm fine with that. But really if you're starting out, you this one you may not be able to get away with anything plastic. You may need to use just a very thin, very narrow blade, flat blade screwdriver and you just get it into one of the corners. It can be any one of the corners. I'm just gonna go back to the corner that I've already worked on, but you get it in there and you kind of press down and you'll feel it just kind of wiggle a little bit and you'll feel it move down past the plastic. And then you just pry that back up and it will come off. And there's a little piece of plastic that is holding a little there's a little tab in the center here that holds this piece in place. Also with adhesive, which now that I've taken this on and off a whole bunch of times, that adhesive is not really doing much anymore. So also know that you may have to apply a little more force than I did and just do it gently and try to make sure you're always maximizing the surface area that the pry tool is in contact with. If you're just going to, if you go for a narrow spot and you just try to pry it, it maybe too narrow of a spot and it might crack the plastic. With those two pieces out of the way, Let's get the eight screws out. There are eight, four on each side. Pretty sure I mentioned that in another video, but. It's funny that someone 
asked the question that they can't get this. The, the question that was asked, why won't it come out after all the screws have been removed? And I, my first thought was, oh, the back panel. I, I, I skipped past that back panel when I did the original video of me taking it apart. And then when I did the repair video, I just referred back to that fourth part four of the video series on the Anchor PowerCore Plus. 26,800. After I responded and had said, you know, hey, did you try removing this piece and making sure these screws are out? And the person responded, yes. I don't have anything more to offer. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what I did to get this thing apart. It's been a long time since I've taken it apart. And this is the one that I repaired, the older one. These pop out then once the screws are removed. It doesn't take much pressure. And now that you're closer to the battery pack and the electronics, but everything is powered on, you don't want to short anything out inside here. So make sure you, whenever you can use plastic or non-metallic pry tools. So I just use a plastic tool to pop this off. That's just the inner, another piece on the front, which the adhesive is still on there and still kind of sticky. On the back, the back part of this is part of the assembly, a part of the, the that sled assembly of, of cells. I think I just pushed on the front of it. Yeah, pushing on the front. It's taking quite a bit of force to push this backwards. It's not moving. It doesn't just slide out. That initial half inch to an inch. And there we go, that's the rest of it coming out. And that's after I added, did I add anything to this when I finished repairing it? I don't remember. And then to reassemble, I just slide this back in. And you're sliding it, nope, that's the wrong way. The button's on this side, so this has to go this way. So I'll turn the whole thing around and slide it in. It'll start going in pretty easily till about maybe the halfway point, about right there. And there's, then there's definitely friction. So, and then putting the button in is always a kind of tedious piece. It has to be upside down. You have to put the button in before you slide this thing all the way forward because if you don't, there's not gonna be a place to put the button. And then it, it will stop. It'll actually you'll feel it stop um, once you press it up, push it all the way in. And no, the button's not really sitting right because I can't press it down. So let's push that back out again. And I'm pushing it back out. I'm just pressing on, maybe I should have mentioned this before, but try to get you know as much surface area again on what you're pressing on. So don't just push on one USB port or the USB-C port or anything like that. Try to press on the frame, that plastic frame, and you know as much as you possibly can. So why was this not wanting to sit? Maybe because I didn't, did I not put it in the right way? Kind of has a direction it wants to go, which is has like a flat, not a flat side and a rounded side. No, I think I had it right. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Okay, let's try to push that back in again. It slides right back in. There we go. Once it's reassembled, the back panel just has the four screws to put it back together. here just pressing that in place and it just kind of snaps in this just snaps on like that so that's it that's opening and removing the battery pack out of the enclosure and showing you how I did it hopefully that helps uh, let me know in the comments below that's it for now thanks for watching and take care